Hey, gun people! Man, got some pretty good comments. I figured I'd go over the comments on this DNA, uh, should you give your DNA test. <laughs> some of these are pretty damn funny. So I'm going to go over some of the comments and address some of the comments, and then I'm going to uh, kind of give you my input on why I think the government can get it if they want it. So uh, let's just go through the comments here, and some of them bring up some good points. Um, I think medical insurance companies will probably deny you coverage. That could be true. I don't have, uh, I mean, I've got my military medical insurance, and once you hit 65, you get medi Medicaid or Medicare or whatever. So that's the government, and they don't charge premiums on whether you're a risk or whatever. I mean, everybody's the same. So maybe if you're younger and private insurance and they find out, I mean, the insurance company would have to get it. Um, I'm surprised insurance companies don't require your DNA before they insure you. If they know they can get that information, why would they wait and try to get it sneaky? Why wouldn't they just make a condition of the contract? If you want us to insure you, we require you to give your DNA. Then you don't get insurance with them. So, I mean, if that's the case, it could go that way. Um, DNA testing was creepy. I'm leery. Buddy must tell your good boys. They are good boys. Let's see. Well, Rick, I have a feeling since censure such controversial YouTube, they would put false in prison. Look, if they want to set me up, they can set me up. I mean, I don't think I'm, first of all, I'm not that damn popular. I mean, shit. I, I don't think the government cares about me. But I could be wrong. Uh, whatever. Come and take it. They know, they, they know where they can find me. Uh, my opinion, the government is so corrupt, they find a way to weasel your DNA from an answer. They probably already have it. I agree. If they can get it from these other places, they either have it or they can get it. And I'm going to go through that. Uh, the Army takes a blood sample specifically for DNA when you go in. I don't remember if the Air Force did that. I mean, they took blood. They gave me shots. They were poking and prodding me so damn much when I went in. I don't know what the hell they did. Shit. They could have all kind of crap. But uh, if you're in a military and they already have it, I mean, I can see them trying to get the, the meat eater gene. To make every, you know, the pussification of America to make everybody more in touch with their sensitive side so we all run around wearing pink and nobody wants to fight or push back with the government and think the government's our friend. But again, we're talking some pretty sci fi crap here. But uh, let's see. DNA profile came back. Uh, I don't know what side of tailbone. I have an extra rib. I ain't supposed to have. <laughs> Damn, Travis. <laughs> Let's see, drugs in our healthcare could, can be engineered to diverse genetic sampling so they could cause a bioweapon to target specific races, ethnicity, sex, etc. So, can the government do that anyway? You don't think the government database, the FBI, if they just have all the criminals' DNA they have, you don't think they could already develop that? You think me giving my DNA is somehow going to change? They've got 15 million people that have done an answer. I mean, they've got millions of people doing this. You don't think they already have enough information that your information is going to, like, change everything? Ah, eh, I don't know about that. Uh, I still have a kit from 23 from two Christmases ago. I don't want some billionaire asshole needing a transplant. <laughs> I think the island they harvested people for your organs or whatever. I kind of think I saw that movie. Uh, look. Could they do that? Yeah, I guess. I mean, money talks, but I, I you know, I, I've all, I've lived my life kind of like, you know what? Come and take it. I'm not going to run around scared and hiding. You, you know who I am. If you want it, come and take it. If it's worth the risk, risk and reward. Hopefully I, I make it to where it's not worth the risk and you know you're going to lose, but oh well. Uh, let's see. Had a family member do it. Pretty darn accurate. Uh, they did our ancestors before computers, and they were dead on. So this this person says it, it, it's pretty accurate. Other people say it's not accurate. Uh, committed a crime, testable tissue at a crime scene, database. I mean, people are saying, quite a few people are saying that it could be used to set you up for a crime. Look, you can't just convict somebody over DNA. I can't make a case in front of a jury and go, uh, yeah, we had this murder scene and we found Rick's DNA. So I want you to convict him for murder. There has to be cooperating evidence. They have to show 
that they can connect me either through my cell phone, through photos, through my car computer. Where was I? What was I doing? Was my fingerprints there? How did my DNA get there? I mean, I, there was, where was that article or something where the manufacturers, they identified somebody that was putting something, they got some DNA from a pillow that was made in China. And when they tested a pillow it had here, it, it gave up, some, it was some crazy information. I can't remember the story now, but it had something to do with a China was made in, or a pillow was made in China and someone's DNA when they packed it, it was underwear or something. It had something to do, it was an underwear. Maybe one of you guys remember, I put it in a video. Somebody ordered underwear and it, it had DNA from somebody in China from something else and it wasn't supposed to do when it was, I can't remember the specifics. But there was an incident like that. Uh, let's see. My DNA is my DNA. I'll never get that information. Okay. Uh, I think anybody that says you're not going to give it up, I can get it. You know what? Let me go to that right now. So let's just look at some of the ways that you can get. I put gun. It should have been gum. Sorry about that. Gum. If you chew gum and spit it out, you got your DNA. If you throw a cigarette butt, you got your... If we follow somebody and wanted their DNA and we followed them, we were just waiting for them to get rid of a cigarette, to spit on the ground. If they used a straw and threw it in a trash bucket, uh, let's see. I don't even know what the hell I wrote there. Shit. What the hell is that? Straws. Tuba. I guess if you play an instrument, I don't know what the hell I put that. If you get a haircut in a public place, your hair is there. They got your DNA. I mean, I got to follow you. You go in and get a haircut before they sweep it up. I'm sitting in there waiting to get a haircut. You leave, and I walk over and pick up some of that off the ground. It's public. They're going to sweep it up and throw it out. It's mine. If you get lab work done, they can get your DNA. If you had a blood test done, they can get your DNA. They, even get, they can even get DNA from fingerprints. It's not real accurate. And it lowers a percentage, but they can actually get DNA from fingerprint. Anything that leaves a cell. If you chew tobacco, which in Texas, shit, if I want anybody's DNA in Texas, all I got to do is go to a gas station and wait. Uh, if you use the handle at a gas station, I can probably get your DNA and swab that handle that you use. If you throw out a drinking cup, uh, silverware at a restaurant, if you eat out in public, I can get your silverware, I can get your glass, I can get anything when a waitress or busboy cleans your stuff. If you throw your trash out in the front of the yard, it becomes public. I don't need a warrant or anything. I can go through your trash anytime I want because once you put it out in the, in the, for the garbage man to pick them up, it's considered public. You have abandoned your right to privacy on your trash, which is why cops can search your trash with no warrant, no probable cause, no nothing. So if you throw your trash out and it's got a Q-tip, hair from your hairbrush, you cleaned your bathtub, you pull some hair out of the bathtub, toothbrush, you got a can of coat, you use dental floss, I got your DNA. You send your kids to a public school, I can swab your kids, I can get their saliva, I can get, you know, there's many a ways I can get the DNA off your kid. Brush their hair, whatever. Uh, if you got to use rubber and an X saves it, uh, like a famous caper we know where a woman saved a blue dress, I got your DNA. If you kiss a woman, she has your DNA on her lips. If she goes right to a place and swabs, it's only going to have your DNA and hers in it. So she can have your DNA. If, if I can hire some woman to walk up and kiss you, uh, I can get your DNA. If you have a cold and throw out a tissue, I can get your DNA. If you wash your hands in a public place, you touch the faucet, you use a paper towel, you rub and dry your hands and you throw the paper towel away, I got your DNA. If you taste free food at Costco or Sam's, and you throw away the little sample cup that you dump it in your mouth. I got your DNA. If you open a door, I can swab and possibly get DNA. If you use a public bathroom, uh, anything public, I can get your DNA. If you get stopped for DUI and you give a breath test, I can get DNA off the blow tube. I can get DNA off your urine. Or I can get DNA off your blood. So if you got a DUI and the government wants your DNA, they got it. Uh, here was a couple articles I read. It's been proven that DNA can be obtained even from a single fingerprint. However, there are several linked fingerprints to some DNA source. One of the major problems is only 30-35% accurate. Uh, if you leave a booger, uh, and they actually had a case where a dude at a DNA place was putting boogers on the toilet, and they thought it was one of the employees. So they did a test, pulled the booger, and guess what? They found out who the guy was that was putting boogers on the toilet every day. Uh, 
In every case, what's being tested at DNA contains cells of human tissue, whether found on their own or carried away by another substance like earwax, sweat, mucus. You shed cells as you walk, scratch, do anything. Also found in urine, feces, vomit, even your tears. If you cry in public, if you sneeze, uh, dirty laundry, if you have your laundry done somewhere, uh, sweat, semen, uh, if you have a nose piece or an ear piece, you go swimming at a public pool. A pair of glasses can carry skin cells. Uh, a bullet goes through a body, can carry away tissue. That has, I can get your blood type from that. With rare exception, uh, all human cells contain DNA. A weapon, such as a baseball bat, firearm, poker, can contain sweat or skin. A hat, mask, uh, of course we always seize that if we're uh, getting, uh, another thing is rubber gloves. A lot of times when people clean up after a crime, they use rubber gloves and they throw their rubber gloves in a trash. You get the rubber gloves, turn them inside out, you usually got DNA. Uh, facial tissue, uh, earwax, toothpick, somebody throws a toothpick away, cigarette butt bottle, postage stamp, most of them are self-sticking now. If you use an envelope and lick a stamp, uh, envelope, they got it there. A used condom contains semen, vagina, uh, cells, stay in a hotel. If you stay in a hotel, they can take your bed linens. I got your DNA. You use the bathroom as you brush it, your teeth and spit in the sink. I got your DNA. A fingernail, a partial fingernail. I mean, if they want your DNA, if I want your DNA, I can get your DNA. It's only a matter of time. I got to follow you. I guarantee you. Anybody out there that says, I'm never giving up my DNA, you don't get it, dude. If I want your DNA and I'm working a case on you, I'm going to get your DNA probably within the first 24 hours. So let's go back to some of these comments here, because uh, there was a couple good ones in here. Uh, Alexa, they're reducing cognitive thinking. Uh, look, I, I, look, I got no problem with my Alexa. I, I like her. She's back there banging in the background. Uh, by the way, if you got Alexa, if you tell it to remind you when your package is delivered, it's pretty cool. A green light starts flashing, and she starts flashing a really low green light as soon as your package is delivered. So it lets you know when your package is delivered. I thought that was kind of nice. I know all you people think I'm crazy for having her. I don't know. What the hell are they going to get that they don't already got on my videos? Uh, let's see. Uh, if you're commenting on my videos, they probably got you too. But anyway, um... Let's see. If I apply for reparation money, they might find out that I'm European and I'll lose my money. Well, that could be true, too. Uh, I was adopted, so she did her DNA test, and she was adopted. I, I think that's a, a great reason to figure out, you know, uh, sooner or later, 3 percent or I'm thinking he's like the revolution that's coming. Uh, the Golden State Killer, I mentioned that, and the thing. Uh, let's see. One more reason not to. People in Alabama might find out they're inbred. Okay, I got it. Uh, while they already have your DA uh, been screened, it may not be easily available with government ownership, but if a silly corporation has it, it's much easier to retain. That's true if you're trying to hide your DNA, but again, if they want it, I already told you how easy it is to get it. I mean, anybody that thinks they can't get it, I, and, and the government already has your address, your fingerprints, your driver's license, your car registration, your credit report, your credit cards, your bank info, your IRS filings. They have all that. It's not that hard for them to find you and follow you. And if anybody thinks they can't be following them, well, they're fooling themselves too. Because we follow plenty of people, plenty of people, and they were doing counter surveillance and turning, trying to make sure. And if they lost us on the ground, we had a plane in the air. And the plane would follow them exactly where it went. We'd know. They didn't look up. It's not like the movies where we have a helicopter 50 feet above going, bup, 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 and it's easy to tell if you're being followed. There's planes in the air, just regular old prop planes that you will never hear, and we can look down and see you and follow. We followed many a drug people that way. But uh, let's see, advancements in science have been made. Fabricate DNA. Well, if they can fabricate it, they can already get you. Like I said, they can get your DNA if they want it. Uh uh, the, the biggest thing, one of the person in here said, you do your DNA and then some dude shows up at your door and says, hey, I'm your son or I'm your daughter. I want some money. That's probably the biggest reason for me not to do this because I've had a few girlfriends in my day. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, government took your DNA, use it to clone you. You know what? If, you know, clone you and then took the clone, shot the president on the grassy knoll, then they could use it to frame you. All right, I get it. They could. If and butts and coconuts, I mean, 
Uh, you know, a frog had wings, he wouldn't bump his ass when he jumped. But let's see. Uh, Big Brother wants your information compiled, stored. You take uh, hell if we want a uh, surveillance chip in our skull. Uh, Rick clones. I don't think they're trying to clone. I can definitely see them trying to get out an aggressive gene or a gene that is more likely to fight back or the male masculine gene. Uh, what did I just... I just watched a movie where they were doing that. I forgot the name of it. Uh, kids were born and they could only get jobs if they had certain genes and longevity and they could only go into space travel. Everyone else with didn't have good genes uh, had to work cleaning things and being slaves. But let's see... Um, Millions, billions of dollars. Okay, uh, uh, quite a few people talk about they can use your DNA and then maybe find a drug or cure cancer and they'll make billions and you won't get anything. Look, call me stupid, but if my DNA would help cause cancer, that would be a big reason for me to turn it in. I wouldn't care if I got anything from it. I mean, I, I don't care if they use my DNA to help people. I care when the government uses it to harm people. That's my big issue. Um, tactics behind DNA, characteristics, they can use the information. They will later sell it to modify people's kids. Well, I don't care. If, you know, if they want to sell the my, my big package gene to other people so other people can have big packages, I'm okay with that. Rick, you can't say that. You're, hey, you don't know what I'm talking about, package. You're the one that's making conclusions. Let's see. I'm a doctor. They have fingerprints license. He's a doctor. He's a white doctor. I didn't think they had any white dog. Dr. Glock. Man, that's a good name, man. I'd go to that doctor. All right. You, uh, you know I've practiced. Uh, they know how many controlled substances I write. If they want my DNA badly, they can follow me around and get it. And that's exactly what I said about the different ways they could get it. Uh, I'm not a complicated... Uh, my DNA, I really don't care. I'm more concerned about things like on my dad's side of family trying to reconnect or something. And I that's kind of where I'm at on this. Uh, let's see. Uh, I would also consider hiring discrimination. Look, like there ain't hiring discrimination now? Let's see. <laughs> they don't give preference points to white people. That's a tip, okay? So there's already hiring discrimination. Uh, but, and, and you think if they have your DNA, that, that'll change? Well, they can do it secretly? Well, they don't need to do it secretly. They do it right out in the open and people are okay with it. I'm never going to give it up. Personal view, personal decision. What proof you have that it's accurate? You don't. Um, some people say it's accurate. Uh, I thought real hard. Everyone has fingerprints, DNA. Big difference. Uh, get one of my, uh, besides I'm old, won't be around long. That's where I'm at. You know, shit, I ain't gonna be around that much longer. Like I said, the only time they're gonna need my DNA is if the revolution starts and then I'm gonna be public enemy number one. Either because they know me before or because of what I'm doing after it starts. Rick, you can't say, be quiet, you big dumb. I think the benefits outweigh the downsides. I kind of agree. I'm with this guy. Uh, let's see. Uh, hey, fellow master sergeant. Hey, Sarge. All right, let's see. DNA, interesting. It provides limited partial history. Yeah, I agree. Uh, let's see. This is how they call it, the Golden State. Yeah, I thought I covered that in the... Uh, a lot of people keep saying that, like, I didn't mention it, but I thought I mentioned that, but maybe I didn't. I didn't watch the video after it. The government knows certain things about me. The essence of what makes me an individual is not their business. Well, like I said, if they want it, they can get it. Uh, so the big, the big down point that most people, they think they're keeping something from the government. To me, the government either has it, or if they want it, they can get it. So I, I just don't like running around being scared of the government. I mean, I like being prepared to stop them and to fight back and to be educated to maybe slow them down or to fight for my rights or to defend the Constitution. But I don't like running around not doing things because of the government, uh, unless it's to avoid freaking giving them more money to spend on their bullshit. But I digress. Let's see. The Bible says some history unaware of questions. Jesus was married. Jesus was married. Oh, no. Yeah, okay. Jesus. I was thinking that. Who's the guy that... Moses? No. Shit, you can tell it's been a while since I've been to church. Who was the guy with that with Eve? Not Eve. The Virgin Mary. Who? Wasn't she with some dude wandering the desert that didn't have sex with her and she just amazingly... 
let me let me I digress. Let me get back to this. The mark of the beast. I think that's another biblical. Uh, they are using DNA to tailor a virus that attacks you and people like you, leaving others alone. And it could be. Like I said, they've got enough DNA to already make that virus if that's what they really want. I'm really grateful you broke this down. I was hesitant at my honest question. My phone pulls up Amazon when I talk. You know, I've heard a whole bunch of this about I talk about something and suddenly I get ads. I never get that. I don't know what these people are doing, but I don't, first of all, I don't really go to Facebook too much except to my Think Like a Cop page every once in a while to approve members and to get some good stuff that people are posting. But, I mean, I never get bogus ads about things that I mysteriously mentioned. Uh, if they want to know what I'm thinking about, all they got to do is wait for me to search it. Because usually if I want, I got a question, I search it. Uh, the DNA modifies when you drink aerosol. See, I, what the hell? This is my tin hat people. Dude. Oh, look at that name. Tin hat. Nobody knows who he is. Look at that. Special secret picture modified. Nobody knows it's you. Who is that? I don't know. We don't know. Uh, let's see. One reason you don't give your DNA is that the FBI wants you. They will lie and say they found it. <laughs> Actually didn't. Again, they need a lot more to connect it than just saying your DNA was at the crime scene. Uh, hell no. Okay, that's pretty clear. If you really want, you have to do your homework. There's one or two that are truly accurate. Uh, uh, hey, I guess the, usually, remember when they're doing that uh, CC? If you turn on CC when you play my videos, when I say, hey, gun people, it comes up. Uh, at one point it was, I kill people is the way it interpreted. Now it's saying, hey, God people. Uh, sometimes it says, hey, gun people, or gum people, instead of gun. So, but whatever. Let's see. Audio has evaluated God's status. <laughs> I had my DNA and I found I was kept in many people on my father's side, including a brother. Uh, the revolts helped me on. Uh, so the results helped him on diet and health. No regrets. So I gave him a donut and bacon since he's doing good on. And when I'm handing out donuts and bacon, that's kind of like my way of liking your comment uh, if I hand out donuts or bacon so for y'all that don't get it let's see I absolutely agree the government has more way info than you think uh, love my husband I won't let him make our house yeah I remember her she doesn't want Wi-Fi and all that you send in your DNA now uh, close relatives DNA yeah but if somebody in your family does it who you have no control over it then they've got yours so um, and I'm not too concerned about Peck you know, protecting some criminal in my family who's out there doing something that needs to be caught. I don't care. Shouldn't be doing that shit. Let's see. So, say, let's say George Soros needs a kidney and your DNA will fill it. You might come up missing. <laughs> I thought that was pretty funny. He got quite a few donuts. <laughs> the Hive. I might have saw The Hive. Is that? I don't remember that. The name sounds familiar, but I don't remember the movie. Uh, look at transfer your DNA convicted and another, uh, your DNA was there. Explain. Uh, it will differ in how much. Don't shake hands or ride with someone or sneeze. So basically, she's saying that they can get it in other ways too. Let's be real honest. Most criminals and predators aren't exactly interested in what's in their DNA. That's true. They're not. But their family members may be, and just because you're a criminal doesn't mean everybody in your family is a criminal. Uh, so, uh, let's say you connect, you're, you're concerned about your privacy. You go to a private blood. This is a pretty good, I didn't know about this. You can go to a private blood lab. They'll send in your DNA. You don't have to give them your name. They fill out a number. You pay cash. Sometimes they actually give you more info than 23andMe. Uh, one famous one's because you can pay for whatever test you want. Uh, it's kind of like your doctor sends in your blood for a bunch of tests. LabCorp is supposed to want. That's pretty cool. I, I, I kind of like that comment and I like that idea. I might have to check into those labs. Uh, the big thing about when they send in their labs, the thing about your history is the larger the database, the more accurate your tests. That's why Ancestry is so popular because they, have a database of 15 million or something like that, and the other ones only have a database of maybe a million or less than a million. So your results are going to be much different from a smaller database. 
which is why I'm sure the government sooner or later is going to start a large database. And I also I want to get in here. I asked a buddy who works as a embalmer, and uh, I don't I don't really know what his job title is. I I would call him a coroner, but he doesn't work for the government. But he embalms bodies, and I asked him if he retained any blood, hair, anything like that in the bodies before they put them in a casket and they were gone. He said, no, they don't, unless a family member requests it. And he also does, you know, the cremations and stuff. So uh, I'm kind of surprised the government, since the state has to verify and gets involved in all deaths, I'm surprised they're not collecting DNA samples from all dead people because I'm pretty sure the courts have either ruled or would rule that once you're dead, you have no privacy rights to your DNA. And the government can take those without permission and without a warrant to create a database or to clear unsolved crimes. And I, I would bet if somebody works in a prison, when somebody dies in prison, I would think they test his DNA or put it in a database. But I don't know for sure. But my buddy says he absolutely does not keep anything like that unless a family member requests and the government or no one else comes in and takes it because he would know. And I believe him because he's kind of a, uh, a like-minded guy, we'll say. Uh, let's see. Use a prepaid credit card. Look, you still got to give them an address. I know I can send it to someone else. Address. I could do that. Uh, I could use a prepay. They got cameras. I could pay cash. I mean, there's ways to kind of get around it, but your DNA is still out there. And as soon as it matches to a close relative, that's how they solve that one case. They end up identifying a cousin. They interview the cousin on, do you have any brothers, sisters, etc.? And that was how they were able to track down that one criminal. So they didn't have his DNA. They had a cousin's DNA that did the test. Uh, so even if I use a credit card for the people who are saying, I don't want to screw my family over if they're criminals, I got no problem screwing over my family if they're criminals. Rick, that's me. You should. Oh, be quiet, you big. I don't know what all the worry is about. If they want your DNA, they'll get it. I'm with you. That's exactly where I'm at. Uh, let's see. Uh, if you do a DNA test, and they find your high risk having cancer, good luck getting insurance. First of all, I don't have life insurance. I think life insurance is the biggest scam out there. And, uh, you know, you pay for it. You know, it, it's like, uh, I was talking to my nephew. He pays a 1200 bucks a year to insure his motorcycle. 1200 bucks a year. In 10 years, he's going to pay enough to buy a new motorcycle. I mean, that's just outrageous. That in 10 years you could buy a new motorcycle, you'd have 10 grand that you didn't pay for insurance. But instead, just to have the safety that if you get in a wreck, you pay 1200 bucks a year for insurance. And that's just for a motorcycle. Then you get car insurance. Then you get home insurance. Then you get medical insurance. Then you get car in case your car breaks down insurance. Then you get AAA tow insurance in case you need a tow. Then you get the extended warranty when you buy the car in case the car breaks down so you have insurance on that. And you're spending so much money on insurance that you're living to pay these other companies to make a whole bunch of money that they rarely ever pay out. So I'm not a big life insurance guy, but you know, uh, there's some people out there, well, if I die, I want my wife and kid to have a bunch of money so she can buy another guy a bunch of stuff and our kids can be broke when they, whatever, I digress. Let's see, uh, John Day, Mottis, Croish, what is this? I had to get my fingerprints of every single finger when I got ID. I was 14 because I need an ID to travel to Austria. I think if you, I don't know, I haven't got a passport in a while, and the last passport I got was when I was traveling for the government, or actually for, for cop work, police, they got me a passport, and I don't remember giving DNA. I do remember filling out a fingerprint card but I didn't think they asked for DNA or blood sample or anything. Another good thing about having your DNA somewhere is it's easy. When I had an abducted child or I was working a case on an abducted or kidnapped kid, I would get the parent to give me the toothbrush. I would go ahead and seize the toothbrush. If they had a hairbrush, I'd take the hairbrush with their hair. Uh, you know, in, any pictures that I could identify. In case we found a body later, we would have a DNA database on that. So if a child is somebody missing or kidnapped, Government usually wants DNA so they can ID them in case they have a John Doe dead body. Uh, let's see. Uh, law enforcement tracked down criminals due to relatives having tests. Yep. Uh, I was given one as a gift. My luck. 
I was in a restroom somewhere 10 minutes before a major crime was committed. I have no reason to know about my ancestor. Okay, and that's a choice. I mean, I get it. You may not... When you get older, I think your things change. When I was younger, I didn't really care. Uh, your, your, your reference and things that you want as you get older kind of change a little bit. Uh, sometimes I think that's why a bunch of old people get a little too passive. They forget about being and fighting and what this country was done for, and they get comfortable and old, and they get too passive, and they want to spread love and hugs, and they don't want to hurt anybody anymore, and they just want everything by to live in peace, and they start living in la-la land before they start spitting out their oatmeal. And I'm like, dude, come on, stay in the game, at least till you die. But I digress. Let's see. This guy answered, if a frog had wings, he'd bump his ass when he jumps. Hey, let's see. Uh... Sleeper, what? I got the Grim Sleeper from a son's DNA. Los Angeles case. Guy was county worker, something like that. He raped and killed like a hundred black prostitutes. I don't remember that case. Rediscover your kitty by sending a mocha. Actually, there is a equine where they give your horse lineage. And I'm think I'm going to call them and see if they'll send me a free one if I do a video on, on their, uh, results, but I'd like to send in Mr. T and Buddy's information and see what their genealogy. Mr. T, you know, he's born wild as a Mustang in the hills of Nevada. I'd like to see where he came from. So I'm probably going to do that on him. I'll post it on my horse channel. Uh, about giving your DNA, let's look at what you said. They already have most of them info. It's already out there, so there's no point in hiding it. True. Well, here's an analogy. I put a 7.62 down. That's an AK round for those who don't know. In an old five... Oh, wait a minute, man. He's trying to give out my secrets. I can't cover that one. I gotta move on. I thought everybody forgot about that. I don't want people asking questions. Uh, let's see. When the match of DNA sprayed all over... What? When they match your DNA sprayed all over Motel 6 of Rio Linda. <laughs> Ain't no damn way I'm staying at a Motel 6 of Rio Linda. If they find my DNA there, they know that's bullshit. Anyway, uh, they may... Come after you, break down the door, shoot smoke, you confiscate your guns before you realize the doctor students you're supposed <laughs> All right, Rick, have you ever noticed you digress? Yeah, I do notice that. Let's see. I want to do this with so many comes hard to pick. Let me know which one. Okay, and then here's where I put the link to the horsey one that I was going to do. Uh, a hard pass for me. That means a big no. Uh, let's see. They already have everything. Uh... Let's see, security clearance, information, the government, finding family or catch members, criminals, what worries me. I don't really f care if they find Billy Bob, my cousin, committing a crime. Uh, let's see, you get charged with a crime you didn't commit. Like I said, if they want your DNA, if I want to set you up, I follow you, I get your DNA, and I leave it a crime scene. Again, they're going to have to match all kind of things in order to connect your DNA to prove that you were there. I mean, if there's any cameras, they're going to have to say why you weren't on cameras. If they're gas station, if you use your credit card, if you were driving somewhere else, if your phone says you were pinging somewhere else, if you were talking to somebody, if you're having a... They, it, they can't just freaking throw your DNA in a crime scene and set you up. Um, I mean, I could set you up if I wanted to, but I would have to have a crime scene close to where you were. I knew your routine. I followed you. I know you always go to this restaurant. So therefore, the day you go to the restaurant, then I plan a body right after you leave. Then I could, you know, it would be a little bit more difficult than just having your DNA. Uh, relatives did the DNA test. It could definitely link to a suspected crime. Again, I don't know why government doesn't seize every dead person's to clear crimes. Uh, too many movies. I'll keep my DNA to myself. Uh, don't do it, Rick. It'll change you. I knew a girl pretty good until she found out she was only 1% Native American. She went bad shit crazy after that. <laughs> I put a little bow and arrow there. I hope he was talking about... Oh, he said Native American. Okay, I was wondering if it was, I couldn't find Feather. I, they wouldn't put Dot or Feather for the little things. But I gave him a bow and arrow and a couple of donuts and a horsey. Uh, let's see. Uh, <laughs> I mean, you know Agenda 21. I don't really... I keep hearing Agenda 21, but to me it's just another one of those conspiracy things. So maybe I should research and do a video on Agenda 21 because... A lot of people bring it up, but I just kind of write it off as one of those conspiracy things. I love this guy's picture. <laughs> the most suppressed video and picture of the decade, of the century, shit, of ever, of any digital thing that ever happened, this guy's picture is the most hidden and suppressed. 
I'm trusting you with a lot. Could be wrong. Could change. Uh, the genes you mentioned, health and life insurance, change the premium again. I'm not really worried about life insurance. Are you going to get your duns? Let us know. Uh, Mr. T and Moki is a real family. <laughs> They're looking for certain strains for something. Um, I didn't see the big deal in getting the test done. Medical insurance companies might want the results. Like I said, if a medical really wants to raise your rates, they'll just say, we require your DNA before we insure you. I mean, what? they require your driving record before they give you driver's insurance. Why can't they require your DNA before they give you med? I should use DNA tests too. I hate using condoms with these. <laughs> they should require DNA for government assistance. I agree. They should. And then if you have any criminals or if you committed a crime, or at least they would be able to identify because everybody on welfare, every case I ever worked, I'd go to welfare to try to find the father. And it was always listed as father unknown. And we're paying all these people because these women are saying they're sleeping with so many men, they don't know who the father is. Well, we call that a clue. Rick, you can't say that. The Supreme Court said there's neighborhoods with 80% of the people with warrants, and that's not fair. Okay, whatever. Uh, if you're at a party, accidentally spill. I didn't. I didn't really get this. Spill red wine. There's an ease fix. Just throw a handful of regular salt in the eyes of the host and run. <laughs> I'm, I'm assuming that has nothing to do with DNA, but okay. Uh, I give my fingerprints and multiple background checks, but your DNA is not the same. I'm just not comfortable giving up something that can be used against me. <coughs> Again, if I want it, I can get it. Sorry to tell you that. Uh, Government can make a bioweapon just for you. Well, government can do that anyway. And if they want to do it just for me, then all they got to do is follow me around and get my DNA. Because I'm careful, but I'm not careful enough to protect my DNA from everywhere I go. I just can't live that paranoid. Uh, Disneyland takes fingerprints. Are you serious? Do they really take fingerprints at Disneyland or is this guy pulling my leg? Uh, let's see. They catch serial killers. Play, uh... DNA future can be cloned and planted. Okay. They can make millions off a of drug and you don't get paid a cent. I don't care if it helps people. Good for it. Uh, hell, if you get a random girl knocked up, she can use to find you. That's the problem. I got, I'm, oh, I'm with you there. Um, knock, knock, knock. Who's this? My name's Cletus. I'm your son. I got a DNA. We got money. <laughs> Okay, look behind the DNS, you'll find the CIA and other organizations, DNA samples. Yeah, I mean, look, I get all the government. I did it, didn't care, potential privacy. Millions of people do it. I have no reason to be singled out. Can't trust the government to do anything right. I agree. They already have, through millions of people, seem to stop criminals on a several plat. That's right, there's a bunch of criminals. If it was so easy for government to find you, they, they sure have a lot of criminals. Uh, weren't you in the military? I think they have your DNA. I'm assuming they have it. Who freaking knows? Like I said, they poked a prod of me, and I went to military hospital every time I was injured. So, could they have held back a little bit of the DNA? Probably. Uh, anyway, all right, this video's kind of gone long. Um, hopefully you got something out of it. Um, uh, organ harvested, video may be gone. Uh, normalization, they're making it normal to give it up. Oh, man. Results. Brother was murdered in California. I work at a lab. Lab, spe lab spe specimens are not secure. I'm sure DNA samples are not secure either. If if I get Rick's DNA and commit a crime, leaving as evidence, then Rick goes to the pokey. Well, okay. Knock yourself out. When I find out you planted it, you better be hidden good. Let's see. Uh, as a veteran, doesn't the government have it? I think they do. Uh, all right. Anyway, you can go through and read all the comments. Uh, I think it's pretty close to the end. The video's only been up for 24 hours, but some good points. Uh, hopefully you got something out of it. 40 minutes. Wow, shit. I'm just rattling along. Rick, you talk to... Shut up, you big dummies. Don't you know how to hit the stop button? I should probably go over that right now because these freaking idiots that come here and complain are too stupid to hit the stop button and leave. They got to watch the video and complain how long it is. Who the freak puts on you people's pants? All right, we'll end that there.